yeah sorry guys <laughs> okay so i'm gonna try to do a fall look today um inspired by this shirt that i'm wearing this guy is orange with some little print you know i think it's cute so let's just try to do that sorry for my hair is crazy so i had a long day at work today <laughs> i'm a preschool teacher so you know i have to really be busy with children all day so let me start off i already cleansed my face and everything so let me start off with um cleaning my eyes let me use this elf, elf primer here real quick for my eyes i'm gonna use a little primer I usually do my um my face first, but today I thought I would try something different and just blend it in. Really blend it, blend it, blend it. Then you want to set set it because you don't want it to be cakey or anything like that. So just get using the studio smooth skin New York loose powder. Not gonna... So and there you go. And let's begin. So I'm gonna start with ooh, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Um I'm going to start with the lightest orange that's right here. Let me show you. I'm sorry, guys. Let me just pick up the palette. So I'm going to start with this orange right here. I don't know if you guys can see. Put this one right here. And then I'm going to basically use all these colors down here, lightest to dark, and then the end, I'm going to, the outer, quarter, outer corners, I'm going to, you know, pop with the lightest brown. So, yeah, let's start with this. So I don't want to do a lot because I want it to look pretty and natural and beautiful, you know. So use the orange as my transition color. So I usually do my face. So when I do my makeup, my eye makeup, my face is already done, and my um my eyebrows on sleek, you know. So I haven't even done my eyebrows yet either. So bear with me. So I'm literally like in front of my window because I think that's like the best light when you get natural light from outside. Um, so you want to blend, 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 but you want to use this as a transition color so everything else can flow together. Trust me, it seems like I'm going fast, but that's just how I do makeup. This is, it, is, it will come out nice. It's just the whole point is to blend. So this is my transition color. Sometimes I'm more like afraid to use like colors and then I'm like, man, I need to start embracing colors, you know, the oranges and the little, you know, the orange reds and all those colors for fall and the greens and the browns. I think those are beautiful colors. You know, you just got to embrace them and it will come out beautiful. So right there, I'm just blending. So basically I'm blending from here to here. just like that then I'm gonna take this one is a little bit kind of rougher so I'm gonna use this one it's from this one's from out so it's the flawless concealer brush but I don't use it for concealer because I don't feel like it really works for concealer so they don't go with the, the one that was next to it which is which is Okay, so I went to this one. Now I'm going to go to this one and this one together. Because I like yellow and oranges. So this one's like really, really orange. Okay, and then I'm going to start. So. Okay, and then I'm going to start. So yeah, so I was, you know, decorating today in my classroom with like Halloween stuff and pumpkins and all that good stuff. So 
I had to have my kids um, do pumpkins and get ready for ghosts. And so I'm not going to be there Monday and Tuesday. I wanted to have things a little ready. I'm decorating my door, or the nightmare before Christmas. This is my all-time favorite movie, so I really love it. Um, and my kids were like, oh, Miss Johnny, that's your favorite song. That's your favorite movie. I'm like, yep, that's my favorite movie. So, yeah. Um, then with a smaller brush, I'm going to... Where's my small brush? Sorry, guys. Um, I'm going to go with um, like a D, like a more orangey color. Sorry, guys. Like maybe this one. It's like really like reddish and like the look is already coming pretty. So this one right here. It's really like literally orange. <laughs> so pretty though. I love it. And that you're gonna put literally like on the crease with a light hand. Like you want it to be light and trim. Like you want it to be nice and just trim everything. Like you want all the colors to be smooth together. See how that comes a little together? Okay, and then do the other side. So pretty, like I love it. I love this. Like when I was doing, I was like, oh my god, it's so pretty. All these colors together. Um, you know, makeup is fun. You know, embrace it. Um, it's not to cover flaw flaws. It's to literally make you more look, look beautiful. Have fun with it. Enjoy it. Don't, you know, don't just be scared to use colors. You know, have fun. Use colors. Um, it's it's makeup is it's pretty. It's nice to do. It's good. I mean. You have fun with it, you know, have fun with it. I mean, who cares what anyone says? I mean, I know you're not going to go out here with it. I mean, just make sure you blend in your makeup and that it looks, you know, good and you're blending and stuff like that. So, go again a little bit here. Make sure all that is blended, blended, blended. Because you want to see from lightest to darkest, you know what I mean? Like, you want to see the light. Uh, yellowish tone orangey then to the orange and then the little reddish orange to the to the rest so okay so then okay here I go criss 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 good 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 so here I go okay so since that's like that now I'm gonna go I'm gonna use the same one same, no, not the same brush. I'm going to go now with a brown, like a darker, like a darker brown. So I'm going to use this with the brown. And then that's when I'm going to go into the inner corners. Into the inner corners. And literally blend that in to make it look nice and smooth and beautiful. Like play with it, you know, have fun. Play with makeup. Don't be scared. Literally, don't be scared. See, have fun with it. I always tell people, have fun with makeup. People don't. It could be scary at first because, you know, you don't know. Like, you're blending colors and you're trying to figure out new, new ways to use it. But just have fun. So like I was saying, I'm a preschool teacher, but I'm trying to get into more freelancing because I need a break from teaching and, you know, things like that. Like, I really, I really, really need a break. <laughs> um, it's not easy being a teacher. You know, it's not, it really is not easy. So I'm just trying to find, trying to embrace my other talents that I have. So, um, yeah, so here you go, and you want to, later if you want, you can, you know, make it more sharper or whatever. So now what I'm going to use in the middle is going to be this gold, this gold right here. I'm going to use this gold right here. I think it's beautiful. So I'm going to literally... Spray my brush with some long wear and hard candy. So. so, sorry, 
sorry guys about that. And I'm gonna get that gold. And I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna put that right on the lid. And it looks all crazy right now because the look is not, you know, when you put the eyeliner and all that good stuff. Everything will fit together. Trust me. <laughs> everything will fit perfectly together. At first it looks like, what? What I promised, everything will work together. So like I was saying. So I'm trying to get into my freelancing. I'm in the middle of moving to... So I want to work on my YouTube channel even more. It's been complicated because I have a full-time job, so it's hard for me to get around to my my makeup, um, to my YouTube channel. So I'm really trying to work hard on it. Really trying to, I really want to work on it and make it better. So okay, now that I've done that, I can you can go a little darker, like on the brown, you can make it darker. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to like a matter matter brown excess and I'm literally going to darken that I'm literally going to darken the crease sorry guys I keep looking at my mirror over here so you're going to darken in that crease because you want all the colors to flow together Let's see See, so it looks pretty it really looks beautiful it's so natural light that you can barely but okay then after that you want to get a clean brush like literally a clean brush a clean brush and blend it out so blend blend and make it make the look, look so much smoother and beautiful and everything will look beautiful together. And later on, you can, when you have everything, you can fix it, add on things, you know. For now, just then you could now take the tape off because you want to start your full. See? So you want the line to be sharp. You see how it's like, like that, like cut off. It's, it's perfect. So it looks nice. And then you want to kind of clean it off. Kind of clean it off. See, so here, because some of this stuff, like water cutting it, it's kind of. But, anyways, you know what I mean. So, now I'm going to do the rest of my, my face, my makeup. So, I did foundation and everything, so I'm going to miss a little bit. So, now I'm going to go with the primer. And I'm going to use this primer that's. Skin Specialty Face Primer Eliminator for all skin types. So this is for all skin types. So I go with that. Okay. Make sure you prime your face, you wash your face. It's clean. Make sure you go. Okay. So sets a little that for like a couple minutes so let it dry for a little bit let it dry for a little bit <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> but yeah it's hard because it's so difficult to continue talking and talking and talking so i'm sorry i'm sorry so i'm sorry if it feels kind of you know but um you guys get the point um it's kind of difficult to kind of like talk and and keep doing the bit the makeup so because you're trying to concentrate so much but um yes let me see um that's trying and i'm gonna use today i'm gonna use my um infallible pro matte 24 hour foundation from l'oreal and it's i'm in the number 104 golden beige so let's do that i literally put a little bit of dots i don't like to be all like i don't like to and here, if you have like redness, you can go right ahead and use a corrector, you know. Yeah, I do it. Usually I do concealer and all that, but I'm just gonna do this and then I'll go in with the concealer. And so I'm gonna use my brush, my favorite brush. That applies makeup really good. And this one I got literally at TJ Maxx and it's a Precision Beauty 
from sibling brush and it's pretty it's like this basically but it works like really good it works amazing like your foundation is so comes out beautiful and flawless and I mean it's 24 hour wear you know so, you don't want to like stroke you know you don't want streaks so I like to kind of like just pat into my skin um, for a more flawless look so yeah um I think it's buildable too I mean it's buildable I think you can make a little bit a little bit more coverage if you need to um, but I mean I'm gonna conceal too so I'm gonna use for concealer no so I'm thinking as that dry I'm gonna do my eyebrows real quick yeah I'm gonna do my eyebrow. and I'm gonna use the dark brown this is from the um, Ardell um, Ardell the pot for the eyebrows so I'm gonna use this I don't know I've noticed that with this like I feel like my eyebrows literally like it takes my hairs out like it literally pulls my hair out of the out of my eyebrows it's weird sorry guys like I really concentrate when I do my eyebrows because I always seem to have one eyebrow that comes out so nice and then the other one is like what just happened like literally what just happened like right now <laughs> like seriously and I literally feel like this dries out so fast that sometimes I have to add like a little bit of moisturizer in it or something to work smoother but I feel like it literally pulls my eyebrow hairs like it really takes them out I prefer um, maybe I need to start using a pencil again or a powder for like a more natural look but since I feel like since I've been using this I think that's why my eyebrows been so thin because I literally feel like it's pulling my hairs out please let me know if anyone feels the same way when they use um, an eyebrow pot you know I think a, a pencil and a um, powder is a little bit more easier If you know, let me know in the bottom. See, it always one. This one came out nicer than this one, so then I have to go back and kind of figure out why this one wants to act. You know, wants to act crazy. So you see, this one is like boop, and then this one is, I don't know. Maybe this one is a little bit more arched as well. So yeah, I was telling you guys that I wanted to start doing my freelance, so I already got my business cards. Um, we'll use concealer for the rest. <laughs> um, you also want to brush it out so it looks more like more natural, you know. You don't want it to look, be too harsh. You, know, I like to have more like a natural eyebrow, natural brow. Um, so yeah, I like it. So now that I got that, now I'm gonna conceal. So let's start here and then down. I bought this literally HD foundation. I mean concealer. I bought it at Target for like five bucks. It is actually really good. I'm not even gonna lie. 
like it's really good i think i want to put it in my makeup kit for my clients and stuff like that so i really okay and i'm gonna do it with this i have my sponge but i'd rather do it with this i think it comes a little bit more flawless i think the sponge kind of you know kind of soaks up a little bit of it And I just like to dab, pat, 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 you know, don't rub it and don't, you know, but that's how it makes it cakey. You want it to look as flawless as possible. Okay. And then as soon as that. You want to put powder underneath so i'm gonna use this um smooth skin loose face powder from new york from N nyc so i kind of put a little bit here and i'm gonna literally i'm gonna literally use this brush right here it's from pointed foundation brush from urban studio but i'm gonna use it for the eye and I literally that's what they call baking or something but i'm not really baking i just wanted to stay in place that's what I really wanted to do don't be scared okay and literally at this point contour Stuff. So I'm gonna use my so I'm gonna use my counter kit, which I'm gonna use this one that's from Wet and Wild my um counter palette, and it's in the um um it's in the Dulce de Leche like this so we're gonna do it like that okay so I'm gonna use my little elf contouring brush so cute <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna really contour Because we're going to blend everything up. Everything in it is. Sure, everything is blend. Blah, 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 Because you do not want to have any streaking. Or any line. And always bring it down. Always. You don't want to. Let's be real. You got a little double chin. Just, you know, work it up there. Good to go. Good to go. <laughs> Let's just keep it real. So, you got that. And now you just want to blend. Where's my brush? Okay, so you just kind of want to blend. So I go ahead and blend it in. Blend it out the Sorry guys, I keep looking at my mirror, but it's like I can't really, you know. And as you're doing that, you can wipe off. You can literally wipe this off. Um, you can get a... That brush that I tried to use a concealer on, but it really didn't work. I can use that brush to literally. So, 
to literally fix my contour. I don't contour. I don't really contour my nose. And then I'm just going to get this NYC bronzer in, um, in Sunny. It's already hit Pam. And I'm just going to use this complex brush from e.l.f. And I'm literally just going to sit. Literally just going to. Then you want to apply some blush. So I'm going to grab. Um, um, I'm going to think of like a. Um, that's so hard, so I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do this wet and wild. I hit paint on this one. Wet and wild um, blush, also. I don't remember what shade it was. I don't know if it was champagne or something like that. Okay. And I'm going to blend that in too. Remember? So always blend, blend, and blend. You know what lines you want it to look as natural as possible. That's what you want. You can always go back and um, do the brown and kind of go into the, because you see how you already have that cup. You can literally go there and just... It makes it so much easier when you have that on. The tape, it makes it so much easier and smoother to literally get into that into that crease. I always get this little wrinkles in my forehead because I'm always lifting my um. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spray this brush again. And I'm gonna put some more of that gold. A little bit more upper. See? Oh my god, it looks so beautiful. So pretty. More up. You just want it to. It's beautiful. See, it's beautiful. It looks pretty. Um, I mean, you could go deeper with the brown, um, or touch up with the other, the lightest orange that we use in the beginning. You can go with that just to kind of like, you know, remember that we use that color and kind of put it up here to make everything kind of blend in. I just think this is so pretty like so we're gonna go back um so with this brush i'm gonna go back with the lightest orange and go to my under my outer corner i mean under my eyelid and bring it that because you want everything to match you don't want nothing to not match so let's just remember that And if you get a little bit in your inner corner, oh, it's okay. I mean, blend it off. And then go back again underneath. And underneath again. Okay. And then go back again with the little with the brown because you want to add the brown that we had. We'll add it on the outer corners. 
this like it's gonna look beautiful okay then once again let's highlight you know in the corners so let's kind of with that gold pretty let's highlight with this gold Sorry guys, I'm so quiet, but I'm really, really concentrating. Um, then let's do like a matte or like a yellowish sheet. Not yellowish sheet, but something more simple for the highlighter. For your brow bone. So I'm going to go with this color. Back to a little orange. And I incorporate that color you want to blend in. Okay. Okay. And then you can go with a clean brush. Clean brush and just blend everything in. Because I have a harder brush, like a more stiffer um, position, position one. I just, oh, here it is. So go with that brown because it's like. Trying to go with that, dark and with that brown. So I'm trying to, you know. But anyways, guys, sorry. <laughs> I'm here thinking of how. Okay, so then I'm going to go with my... Uh, my e.l.f. eyeliner pencil. Let's see how it works today. Because it'll be making me a hard time. Help me. Okay. I don't even know where my NYC eyeliner is. Look what eyeliner is. It was here. I just don't understand. Okay, well, uh, let me get my Mac. Um, Mac little, a little sample that I got, but it's lasted me a long time. To um.
Okay, so there you go. I'm going to use my white pencil liner, which is in here. Make the lip look a little pop. Some mascara. Oh, I have forgot the highlighter. No laughing. I'm not going to add a lot of falsies, but trust me, if you put falsies, this will look amazing, this look. All I need is some falsies. I'm just putting mascara to make it look like I have falsies. Because, you know. Okay. Um, also, get a liner, and I'm just going to do my waterline. guy up here more open careful with your mascara could you just apply mascara so just go back and separate those bristles finish this with a this lipstick is um it doesn't tell me what color but it's more like a brownish kind of color let's see okay let's go with some um highlighter and I'm gonna use this one from Wet and Wild. Um, Wet and um, Highlight Powder <laughs> um, Wet and, from Wet and Wild. So I'm gonna use this little brush right here and let's proceed. Oof. Look at that highlight. Can you beat that? Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Some on your nose, put some on top of your eyebrows too, if you want, if you would like. Your chin. You just want to look healthy and you know shiny and you know, all that. Then after all that, you're gonna spray your face. And you're gonna let it dry. And even this one is like a color corrector thing, so you can You can also go with your wet sponge and kind of blend everything in so it can look nice and healthy and glowy. So I absolutely love this look. I fell in love with it. Oh, hold on. Let's fix our hair too. So I literally love this look. I think it just came out beautiful with the shirt. Um, I think it came out beautiful. It matched the shirt perfectly good. Um, the colors are amazing. Um, my face looks, I mean, as you can see, glowing. It's glowing. It's, it looks flawless. If you want to add a little bit of bronze, more bronzes, you can to kind of define, define your you know, your house of your cheeks. You know. So, yeah. I mean, I think it looks amazing. I also am going to do uh, one of my clients tomorrow at work during my break. Um, an hour or so. Pretty much, 
I love this look. I hope you guys liked it and enjoy. Give me a thumbs up. Get back to me. Anything you guys, um, any other looks, give me that you want from fall. Just let me know, and I will more than definitely let, give it to you and give it to. So thank you so much, guys. I'm sorry of the not so talking so much as I was so concentrating so much on my um, face and makeup that I kind of like whoa, I kind of forgot. So yeah, um, thank you. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy, and until next time, bye.